right guys welcome back um i'm sure if you watched my previous video i kind of looked the same because i did do another video but i had some extra time and i figured let's do a little um i don't know what you want to call it it's like a chit chat story time talk through whatever type of thing but i did a poll on instagram a couple of weeks back and on the poll i did like different different topics that I would choose and um, discuss. So one of the topics was between how I co-parent and another topic was like um, a heartbreak that I went through. And it was like such a big ass tie between co-parenting or the heartbreak. And the winner was, da -da -da -da, if you didn't know about the title, the winner was definitely co-parenting. So a lot of people wanted to know how I co-parent. So if you're new to my channel, you don't know me, whatever the case may be, I'm Myasia. That's me. Um, I have two sons. So I have a son named Caden. Caden is my oldest son. Caden is six and a half years old. He'll be seven in June. And I have a younger son. His name is Cameron. Cameron just turned five in January. So yes. Yeah. So I have two sons. Um, what can I say? Um, I have my sons young. I'm gonna be honest. I'm 25. I have my sons young. I have one at like 19. I have the other one at like 20. So I definitely did have them a little bit younger and I had them back to back. So that is another thing that I do want to express. I had my kids young. So I mean, co-parenting, I feel like it is definitely a universal thing because it doesn't matter how old you are. Sometimes relationships don't work out. You may not be with the mom, you may not be with the dad, but you still have to come together for the sake of the children. So keep that in mind. The children is always most important. The children is always top priority. It's always going to be the kids. So yeah, so we had the kids young. Let me have a, a sip if I have any coffee left in here. If I don't, but because I'm making it, my mouth is going to definitely get a little dry from <laughs> from all of this talking. But um, we had the kids young, so I will say when I first had Caden, we was like definitely together, making things work. But I think like further on when he got a little bit older like the relationship kind of was going sour he wanted to do his own thing you know he probably was coming into a man they father and yes my kids they have the same father so if i didn't say that they do have the same dad um so yeah things basically didn't go as well um long story short we kind of broke up probably was still we were still dealing with each other but i definitely will say we was not together so um you know cameron came around so boom, we had Cameron. We were not together at all when we had Cameron. And I think just to kind of get into the story and not ramble on, I think the biggest thing when it comes to co-parenting is honestly, you have to put whatever fucking issues you have aside, you have to put it aside. And it's literally about the kids. Everything has to constantly be about the kids. And hold on, I have like a freaking eyelash hair that is like driving me fucking insane. But yeah, so it's always about the kids um, and the well-being of the children. I feel like in the beginning, and I'm going to be honest with you, this shit took a long time coming. And I feel like now we're like in a way better place and we're able to co-parent. Because I think personally, you have to have all your feelings have to just go away. And like, it literally needs to be y'all communicating for the kids. What I feel like works good for us is like, okay, if we're talking, we're talking about the kids. I'm not really trying to do much, like what you doing, what you got and going on. That's not my business because we're not together anymore. I feel like that our situation would be like maybe another video because we had a whole lot of other shit that happened that went on. A lot of things were said, a lot of things was done. But I like to just keep it for strictly it's about the kids um, and that's it. So I would say um, one of the other things too that works is it needs to be effective communication. Like y'all need to be able to communicate with each other other than like a third party. Prime example, we used to constantly communicate through like his mom. Like whatever it would be, he used to want to communicate through his mom or my mom or whatever. Me, I'm the type of person I like to deal directly with you. I don't want to communicate through this, that one, and the third because things get mixed up. It's not an understanding. Also, I feel like, okay, these are our kids. It's not your mom's kids. It's not my mom's kids. It's not whoever kids. Like, we made these kids together. So, we need to be able to communicate together for the children. So, that just ties into us finally being able to, like, let it go. Put the petty bullshit aside. And um, just talk about the kids and what works for the kids. And what, what do the kids have going. Okay, so another thing, too, is especially when it comes to 
clothing, shoes, toys, and stuff. If y'all somebody who pays attention to those things, um, maybe y'all can come up with a plan. Like, okay, you're gonna buy this, I'm gonna buy that. Like, how we'll do it is, if he buys clothes, and I'm gonna buy sneakers. If I buy clothes, you buy sneakers. You do haircuts, I'll do this. Like, that's another thing too that you can kind of incorporate and just kind of make things work and make things flow a little bit better. I just believe that there's so many ways that you can kind of communicate and make things work. Effective communication is something that's very important. You guys try to be able to communicate um, if you can. But shit, if you can, I mean, if the courts have to get involved, the courts have to get involved. Me, I'm somebody who does not want to do that. I don't want to go that route. And I really want to make it effective and make things work for my children. And I, and I definitely don't want any problems. And I feel like everything can always be talked about and sorry i know i always gotta touch my hand <laughs> but you can talk things out you can make it work and you know you want to you definitely want to just be effective and you want to be positive and just just stay positive it honestly it may start off bad but it does get better i feel like with time it definitely got better i'm sure as they get older it'll still get better and who knows who knows where things will take you so always be open-minded be positive always have com effective communication and you know keep other people out of your business that's a big thing too keep other people out of your business if it doesn't concern them kind of don't bring them in because then it just makes things even more confusion and it adds more chaos and more drama so that's it so that's another tip i would definitely add. okay so next i would say is um yeah definitely the schedule i think yeah need to have a schedule have an agreement of who gets the kids what time what day of the week what holidays whatever the case may be and who does it what works for us and how we've been doing it since the kids were like babies was um always the kids will always go with him on the weekends even when we were together like kaden will always go on the weekends um his mom would have them like since they were little babies so they always would go on the weekends and then during the week you know i would have the kids which kind of works out perfect for me because okay i work and i work on the week so how I used to have my schedule was like, it used to be literally like a nine to five, nine to four, whatever the case may be. And then, you know, I would come and pick up the kids, he would have them on the weekends. And that also just gave me the chance to kind of still be young because I am only 25. So I'm still, you know, I still want to go out. I still want to be young. I still want to, you know, do things that a 25 year old would do. But I have to be mindful like, bitch, you have kids. So you need to calm that shit down. So be mindful that your mom but you know it still gives me time to kind of get a peace of mind kind of do do those type of things so his mom and his family and him is definitely very helpful with me kind of having my weekend time or a little bit of freedom so that's another thing that i think is good um also too what else can i say i feel like this video could be it's all mine it might be a little bit all over the place but i'm just doing like what comes to the top of my mind that i feel like people definitely want to know so definitely he has them on the weekends um i like to do communication in advance so if i know something comes up like right now i'm gonna let him know like you know parent teacher conferences this week if i may not be able to make it if you can make it just kind of give the other person the heads up in advance i feel like be considerate don't wait till the very last minute to tell somebody something and that's just in general in life just because it doesn't work out like that you're gonna get pissed off if that person can't do it if that person can't be there so you kind of have to be really on top of your shit what what goes on especially with the children because it's like okay you have to be considerate that we mo both may have work we both may have something that we want to do so just be mindful of that um never going with the expectations i think also that the person has to do something yes it's our kids but also it's like i kind of don't have to do it so that's just how i am i just i'll go into like okay you know i might get my hopes up if he can't do it if i can, he can't do it i'm gonna figure it out and i feel like for me that kind of works well with my situation it, and i just i don't have too many issues because i had that mind set up you know if he can't do it i definitely will have to be i have to get it done um sorry if i'm saying i'm um, so alive i'm sorry i'm just thinking of it i should honestly wrote this down like the topics and the categories but literally i had enough time so i'm like fuck let me get this co-parenting video out the way because i know so many people did want to see it and it was a big topic but another big thing I can definitely say, and I feel like some people will honestly take this how they want to take it. When it comes to having children, and I love my children to death, 
and I don't regret them and they're not a mistake or anything like that. But I will say, honestly, the more mature you are in some situations, because there are some people who are older and they still fucking act like young ass kids and young adults and don't have their shit together. But honestly, when you're a little bit older, I do feel like now that I'm older, I, I can understand and I could be like, you know what, let me take my feelings out of this and let me think as a parent, let me think of what's best for the kids. Versus when you're a little bit younger, you're still selfish. You still, you know, you're not like, fuck it. You're like, oh, he can't do this. I'm going to make his life. Like, don't be that kind of person. Me, one thing about me, I've never been the type of person, like, you know, things that ain't going my way. I'm not going to take the kids away from their father. And I feel like that's probably why I shit works. It's because I'm not going to be spiteful. What I have going on with myself and whatever issues I have with him, I cannot bring that into raising my children because at the end of the day, they do need their father. Just like kids need their mother, they need their father. Especially raising two young black males, they do need their father in their life. They need to see that that type of presence and know that he's known. Because, you know, dads are important. Having both parents are important and it's already bad that we're not together. So we still want to come together for the children. Um, definitely if you have functions too, I would say make sure you invite the other half make sure birthday parties i feel like try to put your pride aside if y'all really can't get along put it aside for that one day for the kids christmas and holidays maybe if you don't want to spend those days together maybe you have the kids half of the day the other person has the kids for the rest of the day like for us how we'll do it i'll have them like during the day in the morning and he'll probably have them like at the evening and at night because usually i'll work like the next day so that's kind of what works out for us and how we do it and that's pretty much it for what I can say so far. I'm thinking I might do a co-parenting part two um, just to give it like a little bit more organization ways. But those are the only ways I can really think of what works for me, um, our relationship, how we do things. All right, guys. So I hope y'all like my little, I guess, story time, tips, tricks, whatever you want to call this on how I do effective co-parenting. Leave a comment below of any other topics that y'all want to see me talk about. I kind of want to switch it up and do more videos like this of me just talking to you guys. You guys getting to know a little bit about me and just being a little bit more personal. So let me know. I would love to do more topics of conversation. If y'all want to talk about relationships, if you want to talk about friendships, if you want to talk about family, if you want to talk about anything like that, leave a comment down below. Or message me. I think you can still message on here. I'm not too sure, but do that below. Or if you don't feel comfortable doing with that, you can always write me on my Instagram. DM me a topic that y'all want me to talk about and y'all want me to discuss. And until then, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the post notification bell to be notified on any videos that I may upload and I may post. And until then, I'll see you again, lady. Ah! <laughs> until then, I'll see you again, babies. And see you in the next one. Bye. High fashion, like Goya, G-Wagon, or the Rover. I put some ice on.